Hey everyone, I'm Sly here with Flo. Good news coming out of 49ers OTAs. So PFF, uh, they were there. They've heard sources that Lance had his best day Thursday, which is hard to believe because the media was there on Tuesday when it reports 17 for 20. Uh, Matt Mayoko officially said 15 of 17. So Flo, what are your thoughts on this, man? Uh, man, obviously this is a uh, big news, man. I know you preach PFF. This is kind of your bread and butter, whatever they go by. I know you really take it to heart. And um, yeah, it, it doesn't shock me, man. We knew Trey Lance was the truth, man. We've been saying it for a while. But now that PFF is confirming it, man, this is a good sign. Freaking, it just pretty much uh, solidifies our kind of thoughts on what Trey Lance was going to bring. And yeah, the kid's special, man. We've been saying it for a while. And I think this validates it. For the most part. Yeah, man. I'm freaking pumped. Let's go, baby. We got ourselves a franchise quarterback. The fact is that it does matter what these guys do in OTAs, training camp, mini camp. Because honestly, I've been hearing stories about training camp, mini camp all this time since I was <laughs> since I was like 13, 14 years old. Because that stuff does translate to the NFL. Every time you see a player doing good um, during this time, during the mini camp, it translates. You, I see it all the time. And the fact that he's able to do this right now, you're hearing good things. It means so much, you know. Last year we heard about Jimmy Garoppolo's struggles all through OTAs, minicamp, throwing interceptions, seven on sevens, not even looking all that great, you know. And it, it showed, you know, it showed this year. I believe twenty touchdowns, ten interceptions, and the fact that Trey Lance, people are starting to get excited, people are starting to get hyped up. We pretty much knew that because, like we heard last year during OTA training camp. Uh, Trey Lance was outperforming Jimmy Garoppolo. He was outperforming him, and that's why we said he should start. You should cut bait with Jimmy Garoppolo, save that $27 million for next year, let it roll over, and you get a few more pieces, you know? We didn't do that, and it is what it is. But now, going forward, we know that we got ourselves a franchise quarterback. The fact that he's doing this in OTAs, people are starting to see the national media has been ripping this guy over and over from the Chris Sims of the world to the um, Florio, a little bit Florio, uh... There's just so many all over ESPN, Tana bombs. They've just been ripping this guy. And it's like, this guy, <laughs> this guy played already like two and a half games. You have tape on him. He looked pretty solid. I believe he had over 100 uh, uh, PFF grade, uh, QBR, excuse me. And you guys are not seeing it. So the fact that he's showing it already, slowly but surely, he's showing it to the media. He's showing it to the national media. Oh, man, I'm excited, man. Yeah, man, and Trey Lance, he's looked good in his two starts. Obviously, the Arizona one, he got knocked out, but you could see right before that happened, he was moving the sticks, he was getting us into the red zone scoring position, and then he obviously got a concussion, and the Houston game, man, it took him a little while, which is to be expected for a guy who didn't have that much experience, especially at the pro level, but then that second half, man, he just took over, and then all last year, like you said, practice, OTAs, everything, he was just consistently performing and it's that old adage man you got to practice how you want to play at every single practice you always hit, hear good reports coming from Trey Lance so it's going to transition to the field by the time uh, he really gets to get out there and freaking prove what he's uh, made out of so I I expect this kid to do uh, the best man I think he's gonna freaking just shock everyone we've been saying it for a while but anything else man yeah he in the Arizona game he didn't get a concussion he actually hurt his leg he still played that game but I actually blame that game more on Kyle Shanahan because where was the play action where was the bootleg we didn't see any of that stuff it seemed like Shanahan's every play was under shotgun we saw it was different against Houston. Remember, we were doing that play action. That deep one was a play action wide open. He threw that rocket to Debo Samuel. That's the kind of offense we need with Kyle Shanahan using all his maneuvers, all his tricks. Because when he does that, oh, man, the sky's the limit for this guy, man. I could see it right now. Trey Lance, Danny Green, 60-yard bomb. Let's go. I'm pumped. This is going to be a big year. I'm not saying Super Bowl because he's pretty much a rookie. He only played two years last year. But... But I'm expecting big things. I'm excited, man. I know there's going to be growing pains, but I'm pretty sure right now it's looking like we got the right guy at that third pick last year. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Well, you guys let us know in the comments what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. See you all next time. Peace. Peace.